to look at the part that the kids love. The disciple guide begins by opening it up to the center. There's a staple right there. You take that staple out and you're going to be able to pull off all of the stickers. Kids love stickers. Preschoolers love stickers. Okay, you're going to pull out the stickers. You're going to set them aside because you want to file those so that you know where they are for the week that your kids are going to be using them. Now that that staple is out, that lets me pull apart my disciple guide. That lets me now have just the four pages that the kids are going to use on that particular day. These pages are also perforated. They're perforated so that you can pull them apart. We do that so that you only have to give the kids a double-sided sheet. I often laugh and say that, folks, if you put this in front of them and they're working on it, and you give them this one, they're going to eat this one while they're working on this one. Now, here's how this works. This is the front page. You have the title of the lesson. You have the scripture passage the kids had looked at. And as you look at this picture, this is a picture the kids are going to see related to that lesson. We have some circles here. And that's where stickers are going to go. Kids love stickers. So they get to put stickers on there that remind them of that lesson. When we open it up, the second page is the Bible art picture. And this is where the story was told. But it is also what we call parent partners. This page goes home to the adult in the house. It allows them to ask their child questions about what they learned. And then some great activities for the kids to do, maybe a game to play, uh, the memory verse they were learning, something of that nature. The third page of the disciple guide that you see here is, of course, related to the lesson. You'll notice our characters, D, Cy, and Paul. And this is going to be a fun activity time for the kids. Now remember, preschoolers don't read and write, so it may say draw lines to connect the followers to their leaders. Or it may say circle, or it may say put a sticker someplace. But this is the kids' page where they get to uh, manipulate, they get to draw, do something of that nature. The fourth page. This is also a take-home page for the kids. You'll notice our characters, D, Cy, Paul, and Chip again. And this is related to the D, Cy, Paul, Chip story they heard in the class utilizing these characters. So you have four pages. These four pages go home with the children each week to give them something to do at home as well and relate back to what they studied that previous week in Sunday school.